Oh yeah. Oh. Now you see this? Mmm. 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 Put all the fixtures on there. Oh my goodness. The explosion of flavor in this sauce. Hey. Did you see that burger? Did you guys really think the Grill Master's reign was over because 4th of July is over? Well, you're sadly mistaken. Like I keep telling you guys, summertime is Grill Master time in my house. And I am here to tell you, he has taken a charcoal grill burger up to a level beyond the stratosphere. That burger right there is grilled to perfection. It's juicy, it's moist, it's tender, and oh, it's so flavorful, cause you know how I do. I can't say enough about this burger. It's nothing short of special. So I think I'm gonna name this burger the Grill Master's Special Charcoal Burger. What do you think? Oh, I forgot. Hey everybody, Casey here. Welcome to Home Cooking. I got so wrapped up in this burger and talking about it, I forgot to tell you who I am, just in case you haven't been here before. I'm gonna let you guys know that summertime is gonna be filled with all these lovely grilled things that my grill master comes up with and we're gonna have some wonderful summer sides to go along with it. You're gonna enjoy it, I promise you. In any case, if you wanna know how the Grill Master and I make this special burger, you're gonna have to do what? Stay tuned. And I dare you to stay tuned to the end because that's where the fun begins. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up below. That's home Okay! We have our Casey's Blessing or whatever seasoning you have on hand because the blessings ain't ready for you yet. But when it is, you need to go right out there and get it. I have some black pepper. I have three pounds of Wagyu ground beef. Now, I know you're saying, what in the world is Wagyu ground beef? What's the difference? Well, Wagyu burger meat comes from a Japanese breed of cattle that are known for marble beef that makes the burgers over the top tender, juicy, and flavorful. And we all about the flavor here at home cooking. Okay, this meat contains healthy fats and supports brain and heart health. It is a high quality protein that is packed with vitamins and minerals. So if you are hankering for that premium burger that does you right, you want to get some Wagyu burger meat and make your burger. Now I'm not telling you you have to do that. You can use whatever you're normally used to using. But this is how I roll these days. Anyhow, let me get over here and show you how I make up these beautiful patties. So, as you can see, the patties are perfectly round. And I know you're also saying, oh, she used a machine. I did not, and I repeat, I did not use a machine. You too can make burgers this beautiful. All you gotta do is take about a quarter pound of meat. You want to put it in a ball, make it a ball like it's gonna be a meatball. Then you press it down in the middle and you take your hands and cut them around the sides of this burger to shape it. You want to flatten it out and make sure that the burger is even across the top. Then there's one last thing you wanna do. You want to take your index finger or your thumb, whatever one you like best, and you wanna press an indentation in the middle of each one of these burgers. And the reason why you're doing that is, well, have you ever seen hamburger meat rise up in the top and instead of having a hamburger, you end up with a meatball burger? I'm not into meatball burgers, so you're gonna put that indentation in there. Trust me, it works. Now that I got my burgers all beautiful with indentations, I am going to do what? 
I'm going to hit it up with my KC's blessing. And as I said, you can use whatever you have available to you. It's up to you. It's your kitchen. Once I get that KC's blessing all over all of these burgers, then I'm going to follow it up with my yes, black pepper. And you know, I love me some black pepper, but I'm not going to go heavy because it's not just about me. It's about the family too. In any case, once I get the black pepper on there, then you know I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Uh, okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Grill Master is bugging me now because he has the fire ready and he's ready for these burgers to come out here. Okay, now we got these burgers out here to the Grill Master. And as you see, he's worrying me about how neat I am. He's going to neatly put these burgers on the grill in order. Now, how OCD is this? I won't say anything. Y'all don't say nothing, please. Okay, we got him on here. And what he's going to do now, he is going to cook these burgers six minutes on one side. Then he's going to flip them over and cook them another six minutes. That should get it about a medium well, which is the way that we like to eat it, because sometimes we do reheat it. In any case, once he gets these done, he's going to bring them on into me. I'm going to plate them up, and they're going to look just like this. Do you see how juicy these burgers are? They are fantastic, just like this. But what did I promise you? I promised you the Grill Masters Charcoal Grilled Special Burgers. Once I put it all together, just like this, oh yeah, oh. Now you see this? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Put all the fixes on there. Oh my goodness, the explosion of flavor in this sauce. Mmm, 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 mm. this is, mmm, it was so good. I'm going to have to tell you guys about that special sauce later. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you will always know when I'm coming at you with a new recipe. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. A little love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Thanks for the game.